Okay, we're gonna look at how to do text wrap here in Photoshop. And this one's gonna not use the pen tool or any guides, which sometimes confuses new people to Photoshop. Instead, we're gonna use selection tools, which most people are a little more familiar with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, use the rectangle marquee tool to represent where we want the text to go. Now we're gonna include the entire image here. So from the right hand side, I only want the text to wrap on the left here, but I'm going to start way over here on the right. And let's say I want it to go about one inch uh, from the edge. So I'm just going to drag my box. And what this does is it gives me a nice box. And if I put text in here, it would go over the elf. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of part of this selection so it's traced around. So we're going to switch to the lasso tool. And remember the key, the option key. If I use option key and draw, it will it will get rid of some of my selection, it will, it will cancel it out. So I'm gonna hold the option key and you're gonna draw around, and I'm just using the freehand lasso tool here, you could use any selection tool. I'm gonna to draw around our elf here. I'm gonna keep it flat there because I don't want it text up in his crook. And I'm gonna keep drawing around the outside that I don't want the text to be in. So you can see that's changed the selection to now go around that area and it's gives me a nice edge on this side. <clears throat> I now need to turn these marching ants into a text path or into just a path. So I'm going to come down next to my layers. There's the paths option. And this little button in the center down here will, oops, sorry, will convert this, these ants into a path. Now you can see that I've created this nice custom path. I can now take the text tool. And instead of doing a rectangle, if I come inside, it will make a text match and that text will stay inside of that path that I just drew. So that's one way you can do text wrapping in Adobe Photoshop using selection tools.